Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. And we're live. <laughs> we're live. So here we are. So good to see you all coming in. Uh, thank you for being here. And yeah, it's been a few days. Uh, missed uh, seeing you all on, at least in the chat <laughs> and uh, on replay. Thank you for every to everyone who watches live and on the replay as well. So um, yeah, it's been quite a week. It's been quite a week. I don't, can't even remember what today is. Oh, it's Friday already. Yes, it's Friday. And I am eagerly awaiting the um, invasion of the second and third gens in uh, Hollywood Boulevard. And also, um, I've been checking in on what Pearl Snappy is up to and all the other protesters. It's going to be a big weekend. And I already made a thumbnail for tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> a Scientology protest thumbnail. It was really fun. So, hey, everyone, I'm going to do some greetings a little bit later, but I want to um, just get into what I wanted to say. So, um, as you can see, my hubby, my better half, my mo more resilient half is in the chat. Hi there, honey. Howdy, folks. There he is. And surprise, surprise, Duncan will be doing his first solo live in about an hour and a half. Um, if you haven't subscribed to him already, it's at free as an eagle, just all one word. And go, go check him out. And uh, yeah, he's going to do, I think the title is um, Cult Recovery uh, mo Motivation. And he's talking about negative motivation, positive motivation, how uh, cults, um, you know, get you to you know, allow them to control you, you know, the mind control and how to break out of it. So it's going to be great. I'm sure he's uh, done his homework. He's had a lot of time to think and read in the hospital. And as many of you know, he had uh, surgery on Wednesday morning, early Wednesday morning. And I got a call. I was, I was in the um, parking garage um, on the phone with some relatives and then all of a sudden or some friends or something I can't remember but anyways it was on the phone and all of a sudden the the doctor called and said he's done he's done great passed with flying colors you know he's he's doing fantastic so of course you know he's so annoying Dunk can be so perfect sometimes <laughs> no nobody's perfect but yeah, he's, he's in pretty good shape for a 65 year old and he did fantastic. And we came home, uh, yesterday afternoon and collected our puppies and got some sleep. We've been pretty much like in and out of consciousness <laughs> since. So we even took a nap this morning. So yeah, um, he's done really well. And I want to talk about resilience today. Um, not just, uh, you know, about dunk, but it, it did make me think of, um, of him you know, because just going through surgery and all that. But I was reflecting on the past you know, few months, uh, weeks, days, and our very own Kelly Copter did a, produced a video that was like, I can hardly call it a video. It's like a documentary um, about uh, the Aftermath Foundation, Mike Rinder, the whole progression from, well, from, from early on, but also from, you know, November 20th, that fateful day of the, um, the fleet, not the fleets, the warriors, <laughs> the keyboard warriors and, and beyond. And, you know, many of us have been talking about it since, but I felt like there was, um, it kind of came together in a culmination of events when she, when Kelly presented it, um, in that video. And I breathed a sigh of relief, even though, there hasn't really been a resolution to it, but it, for me, it just felt like closure. It's like, okay, the ball is now in their court in my meeting, the aftermath board, um, and Mike Rinder. And it's like, let, let, let's, I want to turn my focus. I want to turn my focus on the future and, um, other foundations that will you know, public charities that will come up and also, you know, the protests and recovery and other cults and, and all the things, all the things. So, um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for this weekend. Um, I'm a little nervous. Oh my goodness. Oh, there she is. Hey girl. Hey, <laughs> where are you? Are you on the plane? <laughs> 
I'm so excited. Okay. Do I need to nag you? I know I don't need to, but I will anyways. Be careful. Beware of your surroundings. Um, and uh, yeah, be careful. <laughs> and text me when you can. And remember that we all love you. We all love you. And we're all proud of you. Very, very, very proud. So. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, George Messi. Oh, my God. Look who's here. Don't drop your effing spatulas. <laughs> I've got the Rodney cup today, but <laughs> it's Kelly Copter. Yes. Everybody say hi. Yes, honey. We know it was hard. Yeah. You did a fantastic job. And uh, yeah. Um, very proud of you as well. Um, talk about resilience. Talk about resilience. I mean, um, these second, third, fourth, first gens, I mean, it, they are very resilient. So I want to talk a little bit about that. And I definitely want to talk about DOA, talking about resilience and all the squirrel squad, right? They're amazing. So the definition I have of resilience is from the Oxford Dictionary it is a noun. Uh, one, the capacity to withstand or to recover quickly from difficulties, toughness. So that's the, the synonym is toughness. One tough, Lots of tough cookies, right, out there that we're talking about. Two, the ability of a substance or object to spring back into shape. Elasticity. I wish I can't say that word. Elasticity. <clears throat> Nylon, is, this is like using it in a sentence. Nylon is excellent in wearability and resilience. So I named this stream resilience. We can bow, bounce back. So we can bounce back as a community, um, as individuals, as people, as friends, as, you know, uh, you know, watch your, wh whatever, whatever you consider yourself, you know, we can all bounce back from this. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> I want to go through some aspects of resilience, but I just got mentioned, man, oh my goodness, those the Squirrel Squad, I tell you. I mean, they three of them got arrested. DOA was in jail. The charges were dropped. He couldn't um, access his his belongings, his van. His phone was locked. I mean, the poor guy. And he was out there, Was I think, last night with this, like, leopard skin onesie. <laughs> I mean, I'm there for it all. I just, I just wish I could give... I call him a kid. I'm, he's, I'm sure he's younger than me. I just wish I could give him a hug, you know, and um, and in some cash, you know, I got, I got, I got to do that. But um, yeah, I wish I could just, you know, make him a snack or something. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, yeah, they're just bouncing back, right, right back at it, and the capacity to withstand or recover quickly from difficulties toughness. And that's just such an example. It, it really, really is. And, and, you know, Duncan calls himself an old goat with old goat problems. Um, he had an old goat surgery. I won't go into detail. Trust me, you don't want me to go into detail, but, um, yeah, it, it was, it wasn't life-threatening, but it, it was pretty major, especially if you're a man. And, um, yeah, he, he bounced right back. And I just leaving the hospital, I didn't realize he was trying to carry his bag out. And the nurse was like, how much does that weigh, mister? Because he's not supposed to pick up anything over 10 pounds for a week. And I grabbed it and I was like, oh my God, it's got to be at least 20 pounds. So he already got in trouble, not even walking out the door of the hospital. And then we had to go get, Ro Rocky is about uh, seven or eight pounds, I think. But yeah, you know, I've been picking him up. But Apollo is a good solid 17 pounds. So yeah, yeah. So he's got to, everybody tell him to behave himself. <laughs> we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. So um, we will, I will show some pictures later on. I just wanted to get into some things and also, you know, do our greetings and get any feedback from all you all. And um, if you have any comments or questions, just please put comment or question um, in uh, in your comment in the beginning. And so I can pick them up because I don't have anyone in StreamYard. And I think I have just, oh, I have Duncan as a mod. So yeah. So let me show you something here that I found. You know how I am with screen sharing, guys. Okay. 
Okay. This is a, a chart that I found. I didn't make it myself. <laughs> it was actually in my Canva. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm no Liz Liz Gal Gal guys. So I'm I'm stealing this. It's you know resilience in the middle, and these are some characteristics of uh, resilience. So we have optimism, self belief, control of self, willingness to adapt, willingness to be flexible, ability to solve problems, emotional awareness, social support, and sense of humor. And if you look at that list, you just think of you know, think of the squirrel squad, you know, <laughs> think of them out there, you know, they're like, they believe in themselves, they've got their support system, they can solve problems, they're flexible, they're adapting, you know, they're aware of their surroundings, they, again, have social support, and they have a freaking sense of humor. Um, I love that it included, included sense of humor in that. I like that. So I just want to uh, talk speak to a couple of these things that really jumped out at me and yeah, please um, give me your feedback. Oh, you have a wrench. That's right, honey. <laughs> hey, now I'm here. Be kind and nice. Don't make me yell. That's right. Oh, I didn't want to put you up to modding today. I know you've got, you got a few things going on. So I just want to start some things as I go along here. Thank you all for coming. All right. Give me your comments and questions. I'll try to pick them up. All right. I'm already seeing some great comments. <laughs> and then we'll do some greetings later. All right. Sorry, guys. Just don't want to miss them. All right. There we go. So um, I think the, the first one was optimism. And I think that's a really important, important one. Because um, I remember going through some really tough times in my life, um, even as a child, and um, always trying to look on the bright side or think about things I could look forward to, think about things that were, that were good. You know, it's like, it's like, I always think of this, this movie that we saw, we kind of snuck while we're, while we're in the cult, um, Apollo 13. And when everything was going wrong in space, and the down in in Houston, uh, Ed Harris's character said, "Okay, let's put this into perspective. What on the ship is good?" And the the command guy was just like, mm, "I gotta get back to you on that, you know." So thinking about um, what we can control, right? Like like what is is says in the Serenity Prayer, you know, um, grant me the serenity to accept the things I can't change, but to change the things that I can. And in the I forget something to know the difference. I should know it by heart, but yes. Um, to think about think about the good things and think about um, the positive things, right? And there, you know, you could say uh, there's always like a blessing in disguise or a um, the the silver lining, you know. All right, um, believing in yourself. Um, I think that's important too because, um, again, for some reason, I keep thinking back of when I was a little kid and I was alone and so scared. And, you know, I realized at one point, like, I, of course, I couldn't put it into words or even um, like a, a real thought, but I think I was aware, self-aware and aware that no matter what I had myself, like, I, like, you know, when it comes down to it, right. It's like, you come into this world alone, you go, you go out of this world alone. You have, you have yourself, right. So you need to make yourself um, able to, able to be trusted by you, right? You want to, you need to be able to trust yourself and trust your, um, your thought, your thoughts and your own opinions and, and who you are. So again, it's like self-belief, control of self, um, being willing to adapt. Um, I think that, um, 
many of us who have been through trauma, most of us have been through when in the wisdom, that's right. Wisdom to see the difference. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, many of us, probably most of us have been through some type of trauma. And I think that um, does almost force you to, to have to adapt and be flexible because you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Um, and when these things happen, you, how, what, what are the things that ground you? Um, for me, it was, um, the people in my life that were, um, like angels, right? I, I think of, um, Serge, uh, Del Mar, how he, he calls Michael, his husband, a, uh, an angel, uh, the art, the archangel Michael, right? That he was somebody that he could really turn to, even just to to hold him in his arms and be able to cry and be able to to talk about things, you know. So those those are things that um, I think that help help us through is again having that social support and um, the ability to solve problems. Again, trusting yourself, trusting your, your own abilities and trusting your own um, frame of reference and your, your experiences that have given you the knowledge and the wisdom to be able to solve problems. Um, <clears throat> there was one more, I think I wanted to bring up uh, emotional awareness. Yeah. And I would even go as far to say as emotional um, intelligence being, and we talked a little bit about that in one of my streams a few days ago about um, being aware of your, your own um, emotions and coming to terms with them and having them using your emotions to help you um, make decisions and to take action when you need to. You know, so that all all is a a part of, of being resilient. Now, when you think when you think of somebody who is resilient, we all know people that were resilient, and all of you, I'm sure, are resilient to to at least some degree. Um, we've all been through things we've had to to come back from and bounce back and not let them, um, you know, destroy us, right? So when I think of somebody who is resilient. I think of someone um, who has not let their past and their traumas and uh, things like that to define to define them, right? Um, someone who's not entitled and doesn't wear it on their sleeve all the time, right? Doesn't use it to as an excuse to not function or to mistreat people. And like I always say, um, a a shitty past does not give anyone an excuse to be shitty to other people, right? Or you could say, um, no one has a right to to bleed on people who who didn't hurt them, didn't cut them. So, yeah, there's that. And um, I wrote down a, a few characteristics that um, I've noticed in in people that I really consider to be resilient. Um, they're not entitled. They don't let it define them. Um, they build a support system around them, and they also um, not only take support from people but give support. Right? They're they're somebody who can be trusted, be trusted, and they've been through things. Um, and you know they're flexible. They'll be there for you, and you can be there for them at at a moment's notice. And this is like a good friend, right? <laughs> That's basically you know um, I like resilient people. <laughs> I like to surround myself with um, people who have been through it, been through the ringer, and have come out on the other side. Um, and I think it's really, 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 really important to have a sense of humor. Um, it really, to me, to me, like, I don't really like to be around people that don't have a sense of humor because they probably don't like me because I just find humor in everything. And uh, sometimes it can be really dark and a little bit inappropriate, you know? Just a little bit inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, never inappropriate, right? Um, and I think it's important just not to take yourself too seriously, right? It's like, as far as I know, this is the only life that I have, and I I want to just enjoy it and enjoy the, the my my fur babies and my family and my friends and life and nature and 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 everything, you know. So um 
just to be always so um super serious and and um and like stressed out and just intense I, I can't live in that frame of mind all the time so that's kind of um oh Jordan, that's funny unlike lrh and the sea org <laughs> we really do come back right <laughs> right oh my god that's funny all right i'm just gonna start some more things Thank you for all the love to Duncan. And don't forget to hop over to his channel. It's at Free as an Eagle, all one word. And he is doing his first solo live. Talk about resilience, right? In about an hour. So I'm not going to, you know, stay on too, too long because I, I got to help him set up. But yeah, he's, he's, he's back in action and he wants to do his first solo live. So that's wild. So we've got uh, from a poet. Hey there, we got Ace and K, Joe McCoin. Hey buddy, Susan P, Suzanne, Lori Plays. Hey, Buffy Summers, Buffy Summers. I got some pictures from you. I'm gonna show in a little while. Mine Candy, love that. Sienna Tuesday. Hello, hello. Uh, Michelle, hey, hey, hi there. Joe from Great Britain, is that what that is? Uh, Teresa Wiley, Farrell Cheryl, hi there, everybody. Kelly Copter, hello. Bonnie Bailey, so good to see you all. Debbie from England, nice. Sorry if I'm missing anyone. Jennifer, there's so many. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Rachel H., Harry Bear's mom. I'm recognizing so many of these names. Um, if anyone wants to send me some fur baby pictures, crafting pictures, anything. Someone sent me a picture, um, a scenery, um, anything within reason, guys, within reason. But um, yeah, send me some pics if you want. It's and you can you can email them to me at coffeecultsandcrafts at gmail.com. And I'll I'll put the the email banner up a little bit later. Liz Ferris, I'm so glad you're here. Mastiff mom. Oh my goodness, your dog is absolutely gorgeous. I could not stop staring at him. Good morning, Marilyn Rose. We missed you, Mama Bear. Thank you. I missed all you all too. I really did. It's only been a few days, but it feels like it's been a week. Yes, Helicopter Hell is wishing you all the best this weekend. Yes. I'm so proud of you all. Very excited. We've got Quirkolopagus. Hey there. Poe on the go. Hey, Poe. Great to see you. Great to see you. All right. Just going down the line here. Tina McBride. Hi, everybody. Just starting some things as I go along. All right. I'm starting some instructions for Duncan. <laughs> Got to read those. Definitely. All right. Amy Lee P. I'm 90% sure I'm coming to LA too tomorrow. So excited. Nice. So excited to meet everyone. If I can get down there from Central Cali. Amazing. That's awesome. It really is. I don't know uh, your, your story, Amy, but I know that you're an ex-Scientologist, right? So I'm just wondering if you um, had ever been in LA for any of the events or if you had worked there or I'm not sure of your story, but I, I think that's, that's awesome. If you can get down there to uh, get support and to, and, and to give support. Yeah. That's awesome. Sandy. Oh, hi Sandy. Oh, so we got Cinderella. Hello. Hello. All right. I uh, just started some more things. Serenity Prayer. Yeah, yes, thank you. <laughs> I'll have to read that. Yeah, a lot of input about resilience. And like I said, I um I think that this community is resilient. And I and I really hope, you know, let's let's face it, I mean, there has been some divisions and um some quote sides taken, but I I, I don't I hope that that's not and a, a for everything. I really, I really do because I really want to see people come together. Um, 
in the right way, not just by ignoring things and putting them under the rug and not dealing with it and not being able to speak and talk about things, but to, to really be able to um, find some common ground, agree to disagree, but also correct some wrongs that um, from, you know, the leadership. And hey, um, that's where a lot of us came out of either abusive relationships or um, people that abuse their power over us. Um, so we, you know, we're not in a cult. We're not in a cult anymore or a, at all. Right. So um, that's just something that's been like my mantra. It's like, we're not in a cult. So, all right, guys, go through here. That kitchen witch, witch Suzanne, uh, this is the positivity I need for my day today. Thank you for saying that. Um, yeah, it's been, like I said the other day, it's been pretty intense lately. Um, I have um, heard some or seen some comments on other, you know, other creators, things that that, that Marilyn, uh, her, 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 um, her channel is nothing but negativity and gossip and mean and attacking people. And I, I really, that's not, that's not my intention at all. Um, I really do want to be positive and, um, can, you know, contribute in, in a, you know, in a construct, a constructive way. Right. So Joe, I hope they don't get arrested again. I couldn't cope. Yeah. I hear ya. I know my nerves, my pearls. Oh, yeah. Quirkalopagus says, Calicopter, thank you so much for sharing your perspective in your special way. You are amazing. I agree. I agree. She really does have such a, a talent and a gift to um, tell the story in, in her own way, just bring it all together. I just absolutely loved it. I would do a reaction video to it, but everybody else has. <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, I've, I've watched it. I've watched it a few times and Duncan watched it too. But yeah, I think it's, it's a good, it's a good thing to have too um, in the archives for like, not that it's being archived now, but just, you know, in, in the history books of SBTV and this movement, ex Scientology movement, hopefully we'll be able to look back on it and say, oh, you know, glad that things all worked out for the good, right? So Susan P says, Liz, I hope you all have an awesome trip. Spend quality time with your friends and relax a little. Love you all so much. Be safe when you are protesting. Absolutely. Poe on the go. Hey, buddy. Marilyn, you know, you know, farewell. He's going to get up <laughs> and get right back to what he does immediately. It's just how we are. Stubborn, stubborn. Well, I think he's got to wait before he gets out on the slopes and all that. Um, although he was doing it before surgery and he wasn't supposed to. So, yeah, I think you're right. You're probably right. But uh, I keep telling him, though, we don't want to end up back in the hospital. So. Yeah. Uh, Bella Gaia, it seems the Aftermath board members are prepared to let the Aftermath Foundation uh, be ruined rather than give up their perceived power. There has to be a way to stop that from happening. <sighs> yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess some action could be taken, but for me personally, I feel like um, I've said all I feel like I want to say and do. And um, you know, like I said, I'm blue in the face. Um, but yeah, people could do some some other actions. Um, that's not really what I want to do. But I I totally get what you're saying, and I, and it's sad, and I hope that's not the case. But it could be very very well could be, you know. Um, and again, you know, we're talking about resilience, being flexible, um, being able to solve problems, and 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 have you know social intelligence, and and um, be able to bounce back. I know that all of the OGs, as we call them, um, are very resilient people. They they are, you know, amazing examples of people that can be basically tortured and still, you know, come out and, and be able to speak out eloquently and have productive lives and, and be, you know, whole people. Um, even though I don't agree with, with what they're, how they're handling this situation, I don't agree with their, um, their tactics of, I feel like they haven't completely, um, de deconstructed and deprogrammed from the Scientology mindset, but, um, they are definitely, uh, good and resilient people. And they, I believe they really do mean well. So 
I just hope that, you know, things get better. So Carrie Berry's mom, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage, right, courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. That's right. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Yep. Courage and wisdom. Those were the two, <laughs> those two very important words that I forgot in the whole prayer. Um, yeah, that's not something that we said um, in like church. It was more of like an, um, an AA thing, but my, my um, biological father uh, went to AA um, and used to bring me um, a few times. I didn't live with him very long ever. Um, but when I did, I just remember the really, really hot coffee. Um, it was in this big, and I was only like six or seven years old. It was in this, you know, one of those big steel, you know, tank things. And you'd pour it and it was like boiling hot and they didn't have anything to cool it off like milk or anything. It was that powdered creamer. And I just remember it burning my face. I don't know why I was drinking coffee at that young, but it was like burning my lips and that and the serenity prayer. Those are the only two things I remember about AA. So that's what friends do. I'm not sure what you're referring to, but yes, <laughs> that is what friends do. Love you, Liz. You do all the things that friends do. And I appreciate you so much. I really, really do. Uh, Sophia, hey there. Uh, Sophia, get the proper rest, Duncan. You don't want to repeat anything medically unnecessary. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Luffer Squirrel, UK. Uh, pup puppy therapy is the best in the world. Yeah. No offense, cat people. I'm genuinely allergic. Yeah. Duncan is too. So we can't have kitties, but I get ya. Get ya. Okay. I'm not sure how to, how to pronounce that. Is it go, go with, I don't know who that is. Um, I had this saying where children need roots and wings. Once you know you can fly, jumping isn't as scary. Yeah. Children need roots and wings. That's good. Once you know you can fly, jumping isn't as scary. That's right. Joe Spring, Ag <laughs> Agatha Cacological, to be beautiful means to be yourself. You don't need to be accepted by others. You need to accept yourself. If you crave acceptance and recognition, you suffer. Accept yourself. Uh, another language, I think. Yes. Or is this somebody's Somebody said that. Fish not Han. Yes, accept yourself. That's a great quote. Love it. Definitely. Ace and K. Comet resilience. I could write a long novel about that. I bet. I bet. Uh, Jennifer Marie Joyce. Question, Marilyn. Could you please post that chart on your community tab. Absolutely. Yep. I can do that. Um, if I forget, if you can email me at coffeegulsagraphs at gmail.com um, and remind me, that would be good. But I will, I will really try to remember. Definitely. Joel McCoy, I'm just an old man. Oh, stop. You're not just anything. You are Joel. <laughs> Joel, our friend. I'm just an old man who talks too much, but I do know one thing. If you can adapt to change, things will be a bit better. Yep. Change happens. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. that, that's very good advice. Um, as some of us get a little older, a little set. I know I get set in my ways. And yeah, um, having to change and, and learn some of this technology stuff and, and having to adapt to things. Yeah, absolutely true. Right. Susan P. I see second gens as one, as one resilient and strong together. Uh, they are unstoppable. Yes, they are very resilient and strong and even stronger together. I love how they uh, look out for each other and have each other's backs and they're a very tight community. I love that. And I'm here for it. <laughs> you know, you know, we all are, right? Yeah. Oh, Buffy, you have tons more up. Oh, keep bringing them. Yep. Um, yeah. If uh, people want to send me pictures, it's uh, coffeegaltsandgrabs at gmail.com. And um, maybe like two at a time. Um, but yeah, keep sending them, Buffy. Definitely send me some more. Yeah. 
Uh, Joe, I asked your lawyer friend, Zach, if he thought A.A. Ron would be arrested. And he said, probably. Uh, I mean, that's mental. I wouldn't be going back. You think he's, that he thought he was going to be arrested again? Hope not. Wow. Yikes. But he's going back. Resilience, right? Just, you know. Uh, what, what does it say? Capacity to withstand or recover quickly from difficulties. Toughness, right? He recovered pretty quickly and he's he's going back, right? Bouncing back. Yeah. Maya. Hey, Maya. Hey there, friend. Hey, hey. Thanks. I needed this pep talk today. I've had a couple of bad pain days and felt a bit sorry for myself. But you reminded me that I'm a badass. That's right. You are. And you will bounce back. Yes. And that's a good point. Um, Yeah. And, being in a place where I had to do a lot of walking back and forth, back and forth. And, you know, my, my trick knee, my bum knee was acting up and, um, yeah, I don't get a lot of exercise these days. So, um, walking a lot the last few days, I've been in a little bit of pain, but just taking some, uh, ibuprofen when I need it and yeah, doing stretches and stuff. And, um, uh, yeah, the pain can really, um, really be challenging. Definitely. Um, and uh, again, I was talking to, uh, I like to call her Dr. Gretchen, but she calls herself Gretchen only. I was uh, emailing back and forth and I am going to do a stream with her on chronic pain, um, trauma related illnesses and, and yarn. She was talking about yarn too. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll let you know. Um, hopefully this coming week we can talk about that. She's a wealth of knowledge and she also, um, has experienced that herself. So, and very resilient, very resilient lady. Oh, Amy Lee SP. Yes, I was on staff in Dallas as a teen. Uh, did have to go to LA a couple times. Um, so it'll it'll be familiar to you. And I, you know, I hope you can you can uh, make it. That would be awesome to to uh, see you all together. Uh, that would just be great. Oh, just going to check and see if anyone else has um, questions and comments. All right, just starting some things. All right, everybody giving Liz some love, saying free Bob Ferris. That is right. Free Bob Ferris. Right. Sorry, guys. I hate the the silence, but I just wanted to. And let me know, or just remind me. I don't want to end the stream without showing you those pictures. That is my favorite part, besides seeing all of you and talking to all of you. So, Bonnie says, "Happy to hear things went well for Duncan. You both have great attitudes." Not always. I got a little grumpy yesterday. Duncan will tell you. I actually um, forgot to take my night meds the night before, and I was being really grumpy. And I was like, "Oh," because I had locked my some of my um, stuff in the car and didn't go down and get it. And I was like, "Oh, damn! I need to go. Get, I need to make sure take my meds and stop being uh, grumpy and mean." So. Redemption stories. Yes, we love those. All right. Hopefully I will uh, double up on some of these. I think I started new ones. We got Rick Spicer. Hey there. Uh, Aaron has to, uh, has to, or LAPD wins control over him. Get it. He's got to go back, right? And his choice of freedom. If he doesn't, he has no freedom. I applaud him. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah. Uh, Fluffer Squirrel. Uh, I will be thinking of you this weekend, talking to Liz Ferris. Uh, my last big uh, TN episode came at a protest, but regular breaks to check in with you. How, uh, how you feel always helps. Sending all my love and support. Love that. Absolutely. We got Jen on. Nene Hobbs. Hey there. Hi, Jen. Uh, good day, all. Been listening as I put together some shelving for the mudroom. Nice. Hope you all have a great day. Have, you have a great day, too. 
putting together shelving. Wow, that's pretty cool. You know, Liz, it's my words. I believe in you, and you don't have to say thank you every time. I know that you are. Yes, we believe in you, Liz. Absolutely. Cat yeah, ACDC fan, comment. Those negative comments have to be trolls. Your channel is full of positivity. Thank you. You're just telling it as you see it. I try, yeah, just that I'm not always right, but I'm always honest, right? I just try to be. Um, and if I misspeak, I, I try to re retract it. But, it, you know, if things are my opinion, they're my my opinion. And, and yeah, they probably are trolls. and probably people that, like, it's okay if they don't want to come listen. You know, I, I won't mind if uh, they want to change the channel. There's many other channels to go to. So thank you for that. Uh, Emily, that's a pretty name, Berlin. Uh, to some people, there is no constructive criticism. They just shatter with any critique and then all heck breaks loose. Yeah. Yeah, it is hard to take criticism sometimes. Um, but again, it's, it's another part, I think, of being resilient and being flexible is to be able to, um, to take criticism, not criticism, not take it too personally. And, and, um, you know, I, I tend to take it a lot better from somebody that I know or that isn't sound like I think tone matters, you know, but um, yeah, I, I read, I read all of the comments after the video underneath the video and there have been some, some great constructive criticisms that I have taken. Um, if someone just says like, you know, you're, you know, calling me names or saying something mean, probably not going to take their advice. Cause I already got my, you know, I already got my guard up if they're being rude and mean, but if they're genuinely um, trying to help, even if it sounds a little spicy, I, I still take it into consideration. Definitely. Blah, blah, black sheep never in. Hey there. Um, people seem to confuse calling out lies and distorting facts for meanness. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately we have seen that. Haven't we? Yeah. Amy Lee SP, anyone who thinks your channel is all negative isn't watching it. Yeah, someone sent me a link the other day to somebody who had, some guy who has a channel. Um, and I guess he did like three videos on me, like five minute ones. I didn't even watch them all. I watched one all the way through. And it was like a five minute thing. And he was like, Marilyn this, Marilyn that. And he's like, I, mean, I didn't watch her video, but this is what I think about that video. And I'm like, if you didn't watch it, like, and he just said a whole lot of nothing. So I was just like, okay, well whatever. I mean, I'm glad he had some fun at my, expen at my expense, but he had no idea what I was saying because he didn't actually watch the video. So I thought that was quite humorous. Joe McQueen, comment, a wise man told me if you ignore a problem, it's like a nosebleed. It can get messy. You know what? That is really good advice. Really good saying. Yeah. Yep. Um, if you ignore things and yeah, um, like you can end up having a mess on your hands and things don't just go away, right? You have to deal with it. So, um, sorry, I'm, re I'm reading some stuff first because I'm not sure what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> Trisha G, my pit bull wears PJs. Help, I'm stuck in uh, Maynard's with my husband. Uh, is this what he feels like when I make him go to Joanne's with me? Is that like a hardware store or something? I'm not sure what that is, but that's cute. I love that. <laughs> Joel McQueen, when I'm feeling sorry for myself, I think of our friend Jill Bell. Absolutely. Now, that is a strong person. Told my wife when I bitch about little problems to slap me. Yeah, exactly. If anyone sees her, can you have her check her email? <laughs> Because I've been trying to catch her on streams and be like, hey, I emailed you because I have I have a question for her. So anybody seeing Jilbo, let me know. I, I love me some Jilbo Baggins. She's amazing. All right. Sorry, just starting some more things. And then I'm going to show you those pictures. And I don't want to be on too long because I got to... Um, switch over and I'm going to start some things for Dunk for his, I'm really excited. I'll have to put the banner up. Where is he? 
So Dunk is going on in about 45 minutes. Um, subscribe to Duncan's YouTube channel at Free as an Eagle. Simple as that. Dunk, I got to show you how to put some links in the chat. That would be great. Um, Pup Grown Try. Hey, Jen. Good to see you. Comment. Protest flyers available in my community tab for anyone that wants them. I'm not an SP creator, so no subbing asked for or required for download. But you can sub to at Pup Groomer 20. She's got some great videos. She crochets. She grooms dogs. She She's great. So definitely hop over there and subscribe too. And she didn't pay me to say that. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm subscribed and I love her channel. So just want you to know that. Um, okay. I'm probably not going to be able to to pronounce this, he's saying, okay, I am embroidering a something, something a gown. Oh, oh, um, in one quarter for me, current project while mainly listening and commenting in between. Send us pictures. Wow, embroidering a gown. I bet it's gorgeous. Yeah, definitely send pictures when you're done, or, ev or even as you go along, <laughs> however you want to do it. Uh, sink a comment, a German saying, Der okay, I won't try, <laughs> won't try to do that. The tone makes the music, absolutely. Yep, I agree with that. Uh, Sophia, if someone's being nasty, I just think I hope they feel better now since they obviously had something going on making them miserable. I don't need to take offense just because. Um, it was meant right. That's right. Yep. Yep. My adopted dad used to say, if, if someone's giving you a hard time, well, at least they're leaving someone else alone. Right. <laughs> oh, he, he was just, a just a very, um, you know, mellow disposition, just such a nice guy. Everybody just really liked him. And yeah, he'd just be like, yeah, you know, let things just roll right off his back. Maya, comment, Duncan, please don't lift anything or go skiing. We need you both at home to do lives. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Get well, uh, well wishes and kisses. Sorry, no, that's okay. That's all right. I, I don't get jealous. It's fine. Um, I know, pup, my boy needs his nails cut. Want to come to Alabama and see him? Yeah, you can come to Vermont <laughs> on your way. Well, no, Alabama would be first, right? <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Cat Andy, great to see you. Hello there. Yes, thank you, Susan P. Duncan, hope you're up and around, feeling great soon. Follow doctor's orders and mind Maryland. That's right. <laughs> it's all in love, right? Yeah, and um, he he said he will be sharing some of his experiences, not too graphic, but on, on his live at one o'clock Eastern. So, um, yeah, if you're around and you want to check it out or you can, you can check out the replay, but if you hop over to freeze at freeze and Eagle and hit the uh, little bell thing, um, you'll get the notifications and he's planning on doing more live. So excited about that. I'll be, you know, starring questions and be in the chat. So, all right. I want to show you these pictures, guys. So excited about this. Uh, one second. All right. Okay. So there's the chart. And this first photo came in from our friend Jane Doe. Oh, what happened? Sorry, guys. You see my my kids, huh? Sorry about that. My kids band page. I don't know what happened. Let me fix it. <laughs> All right. Do the, try this again. We'll get it. I must have clicked the wrong thing. Okay. If I could, there we go. Try this again. Thank you all for bearing with me. Oh, 
Okay, this little guy came in. This is um, Eddie, and this is Jane Doe's dog. Little Eddie, look at look at his little sweater. So cute. Love him. <laughs> look at his big eyes. And then next came in from our friend Kara, and that is Jinx. And she said, this is the cat who likes beef jerky. <laughs> so pretty. Who doesn't like? Well, a lot of people don't like beef jerky. But around here, everybody likes beef jerky. All right. Next is from Terry. Uh, this is her dog, Mason. And there's a kitty in the background. And we've got her kitties next. Oh, look at oh. This is Mia and Kira. Look at this one's all cuddled up. Looks so warm and cozy. And I'm not sure if this is Mia or Kira. And look at the eyes on that one. Oh, the beautiful yellow golden eyes. I want some kitties. <laughs> Too cute. And then next is from Lone Dinosaur 13. And she knits dolls. Look at that. That's amazing. I wish I could do that. I've never, I can't knit. Isn't that adorable? And then she's got another one. Side view. Oh, with a little hat off of it. I love that. Love it, love it. All right. And then next is from Renee. This is, and she named this cat on a pillow. I'm not sure what the, what the kitty's name is. And then she gave a little explanation about cat on the pillow. Many thanks to Tommy on the lifeboat for the idea. She was unhappy when I switched chairs and she couldn't sit beside me. Fortunately, this seems to be working. Um, have a fabulous day. Love your work. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Renee. And uh, yeah, thanks to Tommy the lifeboat. He is like a cat whisperer, I guess. <laughs> I love his kitty squirrel. Squirrel is his name. Yeah. Oh, there I did it again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh. Uh, let's see. Do I have any more? Oh, I do have more pictures. All right. One sec. Well, let me do this again. I keep clicking on the wrong thing. All right. I hope I didn't lose y'all. <laughs> We've got a couple more. Oh yeah. This is definitely worth waiting for. Okay. Do this again. Present. Almost done. Just got two more pictures to show you. Okay, this came in from Buffy Summers. This is Jet. He's four years old. Isn't he gorgeous? Look at those eyes and the markings and the oh, and the the one um black marked foot. Look at his ears and his tail. <laughs> oh, just beautiful. So that's Jet. And one more picture. That she sent in. Look at Mount Rainier. Rainier or Rainier? Yeah, Rainier. Look at that. Beautiful. I've never been there. I've been to Montana and Wyoming, but never been there. All right. So those are the pictures I wanted to show you. Yeah, it's Buffy Summers. That's your puppy. Oh my goodness. He's so perfect. He's so perfect. All right. Oh, the cat on the pillow is Izzy. Oh, thank you. Okay, Renee Madden. Izzy. Aw, love it. You did. Laurie, talk about tough and resilient. I hiked up there a couple of summers ago. Love it there. It is beautiful. Yes. Yes, so please keep sending me pictures of anything. Well, you know, more than reason, right? But, yeah, this is great. Festive mod. Ha ha, Duncan. My husband says I'm watching coffee, cults, cigarettes because I don't have a crafty bone in my body. <laughs> we add a lot of, Kelly and I always laugh. We just add like any C word, you know, <laughs> um, to the end of it. Coffee, cults, and cigarettes, right? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. All right, guys. Um, yeah. So it's been about an hour and, um, if you want to hop on over to at freeze and eagle um duncan will be on in about a half an hour yes beautiful pictures yes please uh keep sending them this is really fun this is great 
Um, as always, been a great being with you all. May you be safe, well, and happy. May all of your travels be on the sunny side of the road. Yes. Thank you so much. And we can have coffee, cults, and kitties, kitty cats. Oh, all right, everyone. Hopefully I'll see you in about a half an hour. If not, um, I, I will see you tomorrow. I definitely want to do a, a stream in the morning about our fabulous Squirrel Squad and the second and third gens and, and all that. So I, I will be seeing you. Have a great day. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.